Hello everybody, this is Sohan from Think Chess and uh, we are back to Attacking My Way, uh, episode 21, my favorite number, 21. Uh, in this, chap in this uh, video, we are uh, going to discuss one important point while attacking and that is checking out opponent tricks. This is extremely important because when we get an attack, we are so much uh, involved and we basically we are so much happy like uh, we feel as if we are on top of the world and we are about to make our miniature masterpiece or one of the good attacking game we will celebrate that later but before the game we need to understand a few important things uh, while winning the game and that is uh, we have to see if your opponent has any defensive idea and that is one one thing we can do is a trick so tricks if used properly are very dangerous and uh, a side who is going to win the game has to be extremely careful to see if uh, there are no tricks so this is a position a black is about to queen and uh, we are going to discuss it looks as if a clear winning position for black but i just wanted to show you the trick part all right so white plays bishop g2 to stop the h1 queen and black of course knew that bishop g2 is the move and here 90% of the people will play bishop d5 and feel that black is easily winning and he will just get up from the board and uh, have a walk of satisfaction. Uh, Invited walk of satisfaction word anyways maybe maybe not so bishop d5 and here you feel that this is controlled and after this this is just game over that's the whole point but uh chess is not that simple and the reason chess is beautiful is like when you make a brilliant move you shouldn't feel like that is the end of the world because your opponent can make brilliant moves if not he can lay brilliant traps so here white puts up a very nice trap or may would say a last resort of course this check is worthless <coughs> you can just play king e8 <coughs> and this pawn will queen so check is not the point but the intermediate move e6 now suddenly a calculation has arisen suddenly uh white feels uh that I mean, black has to make only one choice. I think, let, let us see how many choices black has. One, he can take the pawn. Second, he can take the pawn with the king. Then he can play king d6. One more, he can play king c6, king c8, king e8, king e7. So now see what is the point of, I mean, what is the problem with king e8 or king e7? The problem is, of course, there is bishop c5 check. So no one will play this. Oops, bishop c5 check. So nobody will play king e7. He can play king e8. He can play king e8. But the point of this, I mean, the problem of this move is this is a black color pawn. And white says, okay, take my bishop. I will take your pawn with brilliant move, bishop c7. Black takes the bishop. He, he thinks that he is up a pawn. But after this move, suddenly this position is not easy to win. Perhaps it is a draw, I think. Because this is a black square and uh, if I keep quiet, I don't know how white is going, black is going to win this pawn and this pawn and make this queen. This is a draw. So this is a trap laid like after e6 to disturb black and play king, bishop to c7 and take this pawn. So we understood the idea. Now, now comes uh, wh why not uh, king c6 because e7 comes and it's the same thing. I sacrifice this and I play this. It's a draw. All right. Now, of course, bishop e6 is not a good move because I can just take. Uh, I think I can just play bishop e3. Yeah. And oh, uh, sorry. Or maybe bishop. Can I do here yeah, for bishop e6? Take bishop d5. Bishop d4 takes. Uh, Bishop e3, bishop d4, bishop f4. Ah! Now, can I play bishop d4 here? 
saying my DJ trick is coming. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can play bishop d4, is it? See, the point is, after bishop d4, bishop d5, I can play bishop e5, the same idea. And uh, the point is, after, uh, say, knight d3 check, I don't know, maybe this, and after this, I can just take this. And now I can just control this, and this is a draw. Okay, so bishop e6 doesn't work. So the only winning move is, yeah, king e6. Now, of course, we are allowing bishop c7, but we have a trick. White has played his part with trick. Black also has it. Can you find out? Like, what happens to bishop c7? I'm not playing this move. I will leave it to you. Like, what happens to bishop c7? Please take a minute to point, I mean, understand the black strip. Okay, after bishop c7, it looks as if after, no, don't play bishop g2, it's a draw. So, not bishop g2, but black plays knight d3 exclamation mark. Again, we are in the check thing and after king c3. Now we block this diagonal with knight e5 and bam. This is, now we are going to take this. Again, this bishop h3 check is useless. I think now even you can just play king f7 because bishop e5 doesn't make any sense. It's queen. So, thing is, after even after king b4 we take and after bishop e5, one more shot to make it go. So, very simple trick. But uh, the main point is to understand this idea. And uh, I would say the principle, when you go for an attack, be careful. Like, is there any tricks lurking around? Is there any tricks where uh, your opponent can save himself? Don't Please don't be overconfident. The celebration of beautiful winning game can be done later. No need to celebrate before the game. So stay tuned and see you tomorrow. Thank you.